Norma McKeg, another Cumber show, is that right? That's right, yes. That's the 10th, yes. The 10th, 10th, 10th Cumber show. show. Uh -huh. And how was this year's show? This year's show was wonderful. We had a big crowd, so we had a big crowd of machinery, a big lot of stalls, and a big lot of people. Uh, last night we had a record crowd, and today we had a very good crowd, and everything went very well. Right, right. Norma, you've been motorbike racing all your life. Um, where did it all start? Was it your father who took you to motorbike racing? Oh, no, no, he didn't like motorbikes. Oh, did he not? Oh, no, my father didn't like motorbikes, and he didn't like me having them either. And, and so, how, how, how did you get interested in motorbikes? I just got one to write about the road then. I rode in the grass tracks, I rode in the North Scramble when I was very young and uh, and such a scramble and the grass tracks and the down the, the, the poor fields and such yeah. big grass tracks and that. And um, what was the first motorbike race you ever went to to watch? First motorbike race I ever went to was the 1946 Buster Road Race. And and then, with the Cloudy Circuit? Yes. Oh, My the, goodness, 1946? Uh, and I haven't missed it once since. You're, you're joking. <laughs> no, that's right. 1946. Ulster Road Racer was. What, what was the Claddy? What was the other Grand Prix like in 1946? Was there a massive crowd in there? Yes, a massive crowd, so there was, but they had a big lot of trouble with the tyres. The tyres wouldn't stick because they weren't good rubber. It was too soon after the war. The tyres all broke up as, yeah. a, as a different leader took the lead. And then you had the seven mile straight to contend seven with? Seven mile straight, that's right. And when they came round to the start, the tyres yeah. all flew out the pieces and the tread flew out. And off. can you remember even some of the riders? Oh, Artie Bell and My goodness. Uh, Sammy Dazelle and uh, Bruce Graham. Uh, one, and, uh, oh, I, I do. And then you went through Dundrod, was that right? For the Ulster Grand Prix. You went to Dundrod yeah. for Ulster Grand Prix. And you've been at every Ulster Grand Prix? Every, every, Dundrod. Yes, I got that, a reward that, from, uh, from the Dundrod Club. That's, that's right, that's right. And you've you marshalled there as well? I marshalled there, there was flag marshalled there for, for so many years. And uh, I was marshalled there too, and assistant marshal. Yeah. And you've seen all the great riders at Dundrod from Jeff Duke, uh, John Surdy, Mike Hillwood, uh, Agostini. Right through to Joey the Lot. Right. You've seen a lot there. Yes, I yeah. was there. Yeah. And um, Marshland wise, um, did you have to deal with any any incidents at all over the well, years? Well, 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 look, well, we had to deal with a few incidents, but everybody was very helpful as yeah. the officials was uh, to. It's a hard job getting flag marshals for yeah. all that. That uh, not uh, I mean, that, of course, yeah. but we're done all right, and with few answers to deal with, yeah. we were able to deal with them all right. Um, what's the secret of being a marshal stand there and maybe getting soaked but all day it's long? A, it's a hard job, you need to be a young man to do that. Uh, you're there all day, and it's in the cold and wet, but it's all right in the dry weather. But if you're at these races and the, and the rain was coming down and the wind blowing in a cold day, it was not so nice. And you still enjoy motorcycling even at a young age of, I don't know what, I don't want to ask you, Norman. Almost 90. Almost 90, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> and you're, you're still as keen as ever. Oh, I, I, I never miss one. And you've made a lot of friends over the oh, years. Oh, well, I have indeed. I've made a lot of friends and lost a lot of friends yeah. through accidents and through different things. Mm. But we've really enjoyed it. What, uh, a different crowd of people yeah. uh, goes to motor bike race. Yeah, yeah. And would you still have an interest, say, in watching one of the GP races? And oh, yes. Uh, no, uh, good, uh, yeah, I watch most of those, you know. Well, that, that's pretty good. Well, Norman, listen, thanks very much indeed. It's good to be talking to you. Oh, no, it's good to see you. And, uh, and, uh, maybe next year I'll get in, in through the back door. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm, 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 I'm only joking. I'd like to thank you. Yeah, you took some photographs of me a few years ago and yeah. sent them to me. And I've been hanging up in the house. That's very and thank good. Thank you very much for all your support no, no bother, the years uh, past, and we'll be able to keep going for yeah, a few years to come. No bother whatsoever. Okay, Norman, nice to be calling you. All the best. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Cheerio.